When it comes to the upper body, there is one exercise you really need to be doing. Ideally, everyone would be doing a horizontal push and pull and a vertical push and pull. But I know a lot of people aren't doing anything and I would say if there's one thing you're going to do, we want to make it a horizontal pull. The reason for this is that we often spend a lot of our time hunched forward, so we're hunching over laptops, computers, on our phone, and this means that we get tight through our chest and then weak through our back. And we also want to be working at our deep neck flexors, but I will save that for another video. For today, we're just thinking about the row. There are many, many variations of the row, and you can change the arm position. It's going to slightly target different areas, but they're all working these muscles. And for today, because I want to make it a short video, I'm going to show you a bent over row. You can add load to this by adding resistance bands. You can use dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, but we do need to be having something to pull against. So I have got a dumbbell to show you today. So we're gonna hold the dumbbell. We wanna hinge forward with a nice flat back, stomach muscles gently engaged. And when we pull, think about scooping the shoulder blade under, so your scapula, and as you exhale, you're pulling back aiming your elbow towards your hip for the classic bent over row, and then release. So we're pulling back and release. We're not trying to use momentum to pull it up. We want a nice controlled movement, and we're lowering it down slowly. So that is the classic or one variation of a row. Like I said, there's many, many variations. If you'd like me to do a video of a few different ones, then let me know. But anyway, if there's anything you are going to do for your upper body, make it a row to strengthen those back muscles, improving your posture, and undo all that hunching. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and let me know if you'd like any more.